So this is a video about how you send MIDI from, uh, in this case, Ableton or any other kind of DAW into the Yarns module. Um, so what you gotta do first is you gotta decide uh, which channel do I want to send MIDI out on. And I want to send MIDI out on channel 4. That's a good number. Um, and then I gotta send some MIDI out and I in my case, I have this thing, and it sends media out on channel 4 when I press it. Um, then the first thing you got to do is you got to hold the encoder here, and go to the Q, no, the I. And this means initialize, which will clear all of the current settings on the yarns, in case you have something set up that you forgot about from last time. Uh, that might interfere with the MIDI input stuff, so it's always a good idea to do this. And then you're ready, and you go to, to 4P, which is for polyphonic. In the tempo, I like to set that to external. Uh, that way, the BD controls the tempo of the clock in this uh, yarns module. And then you gotta go to channel, and this is where it gets tricky because now you gotta remember what was the MIDI channel I wanted to send out on. I think it was 4, so I'll go with 4. And then the last thing you gotta do is go to the VO, which uh, stands for voicing. And it has different ways of approaching how to uh, split the incoming MIDI notes out. Um, it can uh, take four MIDI notes at the same time and output them to one of the outputs each. It has four outputs. Um, and the best way of doing it, I think, is to go, oh yeah, wait, click VO and go into the one called SO, which means sorted, click that, there you go, are you ready? That's the best one, I think, so now when I, I have this repeat function enabled, that will give me 16th, so it should hear 16th now, and sure I do. So Ableton is sending 16th out on channel 4. And I'm receiving it back into Ableton here. Um, you can see here, the first note I press, this one. If I press another one at the same time, the second output will light up. And that's the order of how they will sort new notes added. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and what actually happens here, if I press one, two, and three, oh, sorry. I'll try that again. If I press one, then a second one and a third one, and if I let go of the first one, the note I held second will be moved up to the first input, and the third will be moved to the second input uh, output, like this. Yeah. Um, so to demonstrate that more clearly, we have this note, this note, and this note. And if I press first this one, you won't hear the two others, because I'm only outputting the first one to a module that makes sound. And if I let go of the first one, you will hear the second one, like so. And it will have moved it up. And then the third one, if I let go of the second one now, the third one will take its place. Like that. So that's what the, the voicing thing does. Uh, I think the sorted is a good one. So yeah, this is... Um, how to do that in a better video. Uh, I think the last one I forgot to mention that you had to do the initialize thing and that's important if you want to be sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, bye bye.